Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this video we'll be doing the unboxing and have a first look at this Apple Watch Series uh, 4. And actually I've been using the Series 3 smartwatch now for almost a year. Uh, so pretty excited to see uh, the Series 4 because it does add a lot of features and in fact slight design change also. The screen is a lot bigger on this one. And as you can see this is the aluminium one with the sports uh, loop 44mm. There is also one more uh, variant uh, that is for 40 mm and guys i got this uh, i purchased this from faisal communications here in hyderabad so let me quickly open this up and have a look and uh, guys uh, you have to have an iphone to make it to work so that's the limitation of a apple watch let's open this up and have a look so a bunch of uh, stuff over here so nice presentation actually too this box comes out and uh, this is the actual band that is separate so nice presentation as you can see and uh, if uh, the old bands of your apple watch will work even on this one that's what they say so as you can see this is the sports loop the, that is and it's the 44 mm one so let's have a look at the watch itself and see what it is it just opens it up like this and it says uh, designed by apple in california and uh, gives you an idea about the watch basic info in various languages so that's what it is and i think much let me keep that to the side and the watch actually comes in this this is a nice uh, touch because the series 3 if i recall didn't come like this it says 44 mm over here and i think so we have to just take this out slide it out so here it is and not a uh, lot bigger than this one this is a 42 mm and we also have a power uh, brick with this one but again this will work with uh, a, this is just a usb power brick and uh, this is you have to actually use this is the magnetic dock for charging i believe it's the same one as the series 3 it should charge even with the series 3 version so i'll just keep this one to the side for now and uh, let's also open up this band and loop and says apple watch so i don't know why they have such elaborate presentation just for the band so yeah this is the sports band and we can attach this to the apple uh, watch we just slide it in like this and the other one will go here just like this and you'll need your iphone to make this actually work and uh, first let me give you a physical overview then we will do the pairing uh, so now the, the digital crown is supposed to be a little bit different on uh, this one uh, it gives haptic feedback and the microphone position has changed this button is the same and the speaker is supposed to be a lot louder this time compared to the old one let me actually show you the old one this is the old one as you can see the microphone uh, hole was not here now on the new one it's moved to here and on this end if you go uh, the speaker went as a lot bigger on the new one so yeah that's what it is and obviously uh, this is uh, supposed to be a lot bigger so let's and the back is uh, changed this is the big change as you can see the old one and the new one the old one uh, also had this optical heart rate sensor but this one is supposed to have a new one improved and it also can do ecg that is electrocardiogram and uh, so that's the new thing and uh, it says series four here at the back so let's try to just now power it on and try to set it up mm, you just press this button for power and now i think so you have to bring your iphone i'm not very sure this uh, uh, one is actually already paired so will it work with this one we'll know that very soon but let's see and uh, obviously you'll need this watch app on your iphone to make it work and you have to log in i believe and already as you can see this is my old one 42 mm and yeah i think so pair a new watch so let's see if it does that if i hit the pair so you have to bring it like this and looks like it is yeah it found it and it says your apple watch is paid 
restore from backup i'm just going to do that currently paid restore from the old one i'm going to use this backup so again if you have already a backup it can uh, restore as you can see and now it will take a couple of minutes guys and uh, you have to agree to these terms and conditions i'm just going to hit agree anyways you don't have any choice and as you can see here this is the 44 mm aluminium clay uh, case uh, version and this process is a little bit slow can almost take about 10 odd minutes so i'll let it set up and then we'll continue and uh, with the watch os 5 we have this new thing called low heart rate and high uh, high heart rate notifications so i'm just going to enable that and emergency sos is also there uh, this what is supposed to it can detect falls or anything so uh, it can notify emergency SOS. So I'll set that up later, but now it's just doing the basic syncing. So this is going to take a couple of minutes and we'll continue when it's done. Definitely, I would say in terms of screen estate, this is uh, actually uh, closer to the edge. On the older one, as you can see, it's uh, the edges, we have a huge border actually, the display doesn't go till there. But on the new one, as you can see, it's going till the edges. So definitely, uh, in terms of display, I would say, uh, this is displaying uh, a little bit more and I like that because uh, some of the fonts on the old one could get uh, small as you can see. So guys, uh, yes, uh, we had to actually install these new watch faces. Uh, by default, they were not there. So you can go in and install. But again, these new ones are only available for the new series uh, 4. Uh, so I have uh, installed this and you can actually customize this and uh, you can get a lot of information as you can see right now uh, time in new york my timers quick uh, settings to the timers uh, that i have etc and uh, all those things and uh, this is also a new watch face that we have and uh, this actually shows us uh, uh, how much of the screen estate this new apple series watch 4 is actually using compared to the old one so definitely i see a uh, improvement there uh, and uh, let's this looks actually pretty cool i would say and uh, uv index uh, battery starts over here so a lot of information you can get in a glance here your uh how much you have walked another thing to notice that now this digital crown if you move around it's giving actual haptic feedback and it's a nice uh, feedback that is actually giving so this is also a, a nice thing and even the speaker is supposed to be a lot uh, louder on this new one let's try that What's the weather like? Here's the forecast for today. As you can see, this was in the new series four. And let's try the same thing on uh, this one. And what's the weather like? Here's the forecast for today. So oh, definitely, I would say this is a lot more louder. And this will be actually very important for the cellular version because uh, you can actually take calls uh, with that one. So guys, uh, don't want to talk a lot more about this one. This was just the first unboxing and first look at this one. What I'll do is I'll actually use this one uh, for a week or so, then post another video. Even with the Series 3, I was happy with the battery life. Uh, I was uh, roughly getting about uh, one and a half days worth of battery life. Let's see how good is uh, this one. So guys, uh, I will be posting a video after using it for a week or 10 days. So stay tuned to my channel. And if you guys are still not subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video. Take care, guys.